they were selected because of the region they come from or because of other considerations. Well, yesterday, uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, was forced to adjourn the House after all the 83 ministers in President Museveni's government did not show up for the sitting. Well, the Speaker of Parliament was so disappointed after she realized that not even a single minister was present to handle the concerns emanating from the members of Parliament. Well, Anita Monk promised to engage the executive on this growing habit of absenteeism. But we cannot come here as members of parliament, waste our time, talk, nobody is to respond, and they are paid highly. We have 83 ministers, and for that reason, therefore, I first want to meet executive on this matter. While other members of parliament welcomed the decision of the speaker to adjourn the house, saying this is a clear signal that the executive wants to undermine the legislative arm of government. We have about four prime ministers. They are the, uh, the leaders of government business here. How come that none of them is here? We are seeing them moving with lead cars, so we expect them to be here on time. They don't need letters from him to come and stand in parliament. If he has trusted his team, let him allow them to come to parliament. Let His Excellency, in the next resettlement, release all these ministers who are not willing to serve this nation. At a time like this, that we should take a decision whether we should have a reshuffle at this very moment, such that we can be able to lead the country ahead. Well, Chira Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Semu Junganda, in a recent interview, also weighed on this matter that is making headlines in the media. I think the problem is structural. You have uh, fairly young uh, speakers of parliament, both the speaker and, and the deputy, who are young in age but also young in the NRM administration. You have ministers who have grown in rank but also in age. People like the Geno Tafire, Geno Jim Muwezi, uh, my brother, the uh, Honorable Moses Ali, and others. Geno Tafire is never in parliament. It is his junior, Geno uh, Muwezi, who is always there. But you also have another minister who has never appeared in parliament for two and a half years, the Honorable Janet Kataha. And then you have uh, a leader of that cabinet, former RDC and woman MP for Kakumiro, the Honorable Nabanja, who cannot call Jim Muez, who cannot call uh, Otafire, who cannot call Janet Kataha to order. So you are in this area. That happened sometime back when you had uh, uh, the Honorable Special Zawandera Kaziwe, who was junior in NRM and young in age, and she was the one who was supposed to be supervising people like Kategaya, people like Wapakaburu. So this is the result of Mr. Museven treating cabinet um, <clears throat> uh, not as a serious matter, but just as a, a group of uh, mobilizers. Because this cabinet has no leader in the parliament, it has people who are big, it also has a, uh, <clears throat> speakers who are young. So the cocktail of that is what is causing this. To make matters worse, many of these ministers do not think that they are representing Uganda in parliament, but they are representing Mr. M7. That's why this week on Tuesday you had two ministers bring statements, Minister of Trade and Minister of Education, both of them were chased with their statements. The person who was holding the portfolio of Prime Minister, the Honorable Nakadam, said the Minister of Defense cannot brief Parliament on the bomb scare in town because she needed clearance from the President. Really, that government is in this area. What it means for it to collapse. Really, Mr. M7 holds all of us in the contempt. That's why he can pick people he himself knows that cannot perform. You remember when he described them as fishermen? Yet these individuals are responsible for the lives of 45 million Ugandans. So yeah, there is no morale and motivation for any of those ministers to do anything. Because after all, they were not selected because of competence, they were selected because of the region they come from, or because of other considerations. So you don't have a cabinet, you just have a group of individuals who each pulling his own and her own direction.